Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beninin, and for today's video, we're going to be doing another sunscreen review. Today, we're gonna to be testing a mineral sunscreen from the brand Summer Fridays. This is their Shade Drops Mineral Milk Sunscreen. It is a broad spectrum SPF 30. You get 1.7 fluid ounces, which is 50 milliliters, and it retails for $36. I picked mine up from Sephora, but you can also get it from the Summer Fridays website online. The active ingredient in here is 9.4% zinc oxide. Some of the other ingredients in here, it contains squalene, shea butter extract, and an antioxidant complex. The antioxidant complex is vitamin E and ethyl ferulate, and this does contain alcohol. It has benzyl alcohol in it, but the alcohol doesn't bother me. This is what the bottle looks like. Super cute. I don't know, just a basic bottle. Um, let me show you guys the texture. It's more of a liquidy type cream. It is pretty lightweight as far as the texture goes. The only thing that I have to say about this texture is that it dries very quickly, so I would recommend putting this on in layers or just making sure that you're rubbing it in really fast. Um, I only put a really tiny amount so you guys could see the finish of it. So on the website, it claims that it's a natural finish, which uh, I guess I would kind of agree with it. Sometimes to me, it feels like it's a little bit more matte. I'd say that it's leaning more natural to semi-matte versus natural to glow. This sunscreen does not have any added fragrance. To me, it smells like, kind of smells like chalk. Yeah, it smells like chalk. I don't know how else to explain it, but it's not like a strong fragrance. And I do think that chalky smell does dissipate and I didn't find it irritating at all. So as always, I tested this one out with bare skin, so no product on my skin, just as is. And I tested it out with a moisturizer and then alongside makeup. Okay, so the first day I wore this, I wore it on bare skin. And I'm just gonna say straight off the bat, I would not recommend doing this and you'll see why. So I wore it on bare skin I just wash my face let it dry and then I put the sunscreen on um, I put it on in two layers so you guys see I put on the first layer and it was looking fine there wasn't too much of a cast I was like okay this is gonna work and then I put the second layer on because I want to get the full SPF protection so you have to put enough on and rubbing it in it started to show up more of a cast in my opinion, this cast isn't that bad. We have seen a lot worse here on this channel, um, but there is a slight gray cast here and the cast really depends on the lighting. Like I was saying earlier, it dries down really quickly. So I don't necessarily know if I would recommend putting this on in one layer or two layers. I'd probably do smaller layers because by the time I got to one area, it had like already dried down and it was just hard to spread it out, which left me with a lot more patchiness than I prefer. And I feel like when you have patchiness, those are just areas of your face that are gonna be exposed to the sun. So you don't want that, you want a nice even layer. For some reason, I started to experience a little bit of pilling in the jaw area and it was only in the jaw area. Like it wasn't really pilling anywhere else, which I thought was kind of weird. Another thing I wanna know is that because there is a cast and because this dries down so quickly I found that it was clinging to some of my dry spots the overall feel of it I feel like it was kind of drying which is rare for me to experience because I have pretty oily skin this is a thing with mineral sunscreens I feel like they're they either put a lot of ingredients in there to make it kind of slip um, so that it isn't drying so then it ends up being too greasy and oily or they don't put enough and then it ends up being drying. And I feel like that's what I was experiencing here. So on its own, it's definitely drying. I feel like especially in my mouth area where I tend to be more dry as we move into the cooler months, it felt like, oh my God, it felt like my face was like cracking. <laughs> I don't know, it just like, I feel like it, it didn't give me any moisture, it didn't give me any hydration, and it felt very tight in that area. Even in my cheeks and my forehead, which is where I produce more oils, I felt kind of similar. It wasn't as bad there, it didn't feel as dry, but I just feel like this does not wear well on its own. You're not gonna get enough moisture, you're not gonna get enough hydration, and it just didn't, it didn't feel good on my face. I stuck it out though, even though it was drying and I wore it for two hours. And then I wore it for two hours and after the two hours, as you guys will see, I do have oily T-zones. So if you look at my forehead and my cheeks, it's gonna look a little bit shiny. But then if you look at my mouth and my jaw and around my hairline, it looks, it looks okay, but 
even after the two hours as I was producing oils, it still felt very dry. So I just would not recommend this to anybody wearing it on its own, even if you have pretty oily skin. So the next day I wore it, I wore it with a moisturizer and this is definitely how I would recommend wearing this. You definitely need a moisturizer. So I had a nice moisturizer underneath and then I actually went ahead and added this in very thin layers. I think by the end of it, it ended up being about four layers that I did instead of the two that I did on the previous day. And this worked way better for me. I feel like since it does dry down rather quickly, putting it on in smaller layers just helped me to spread it out easier. And I actually think the layers helped with the cast. It didn't look as gray as it did on day one. This actually looked kind of okay. When I first spread this sunscreen out, um, before it dries down, it feels a little bit tacky to the touch. But then after drying down, it just has like a nice soft, smooth texture to it. It was sticking into my eyebrows a little bit in my hairline, but it was okay. I was able to kind of like rub that in a little bit more. As far as in window lighting, the cast is very minimal, which was great. I feel like you could really only see the cast kind of in my hairline. Um, where it was sticking a little bit more. So I went ahead and wore it for two hours, came back, and at the end of two hours, it actually looked pretty good and it felt pretty good. I, again, am a little bit shiny in my T-zone, but everywhere else felt perfect. It didn't feel drying or greasy or anything. I did go ahead and blot some of those oils away and I reapplied. I feel like the cast kind of showed up a little bit more, which is kind of normal for mineral subscreens. The more layers you put on, the more of a cast is gonna show up. But it didn't look too bad and and it went back to that kind of natural to almost semi-matte finish. The last day when I wore it with makeup, I feel like this sunscreen works beautifully under makeup. If you're oily and you feel like your makeup kind of slips and slides, I feel like this sunscreen helps everything to kind of cling down to your skin so it doesn't do that. And I really love the way my makeup ended up looking on this day. It was... Ugh. Stunning. If you are a little bit more on the deeper skin tone, you might have to put a little bit more makeup on to cover up whatever cast shows up for you. But since the cast on me was pretty minimal, I didn't have to do too much of that. All right, now I'm gonna share my overall thoughts and who I think this sunscreen would be best suited for. Across the board, oily, balanced, or dry skin, I think you definitely need a moisturizer. Do not wear this on its own. It's gonna feel drying. But with a moisturizer, I think it does work for all skin types. If you have dry skin, you might have to put a little bit more of a heavier moisturizer to kind of combat some of that dryness feeling that you get from the sunscreen. And if you have more oily skin, just put a nice lightweight moisturizer under and you should be good to go. I do think that this does work well with makeup and it, I think personally, I think it works best with makeup. Um, and I feel like that's the case for a lot of mineral sunscreens in general, but you can wear it on its own if you're not gonna experience some of that white cast. Um, if you have a deeper complexion, be careful, definitely apply it in layers to help kind of minimize some of that cast. But on my skin, I did see a little bit of a cast, nothing too crazy. If you are more of a lighter skin tone, you probably will be fine with the shade of it and I don't think you'll experience too much of a cast. If you have sensitive skin, I would definitely recommend this for you. I didn't experience any sensitivities or irritation from the days that I wore it. I will say though, when I did try to wear it on bare skin where I didn't have like the slip of a moisturizer under, I feel like I was doing a lot of tugging and rubbing and that kind of slightly irritated my skin. But if you wear it with a moisturizer, you shouldn't have that issue. And lastly, if you have acne prone skin like myself, I think you should be fine. I didn't find that this was clogging my pores or causing me any extra breakouts. Definitely just wash your face properly at night and you should be fine. But those are all my thoughts on the Summer Friday sunscreen. If you guys have tried this sunscreen and you loved it, let me know down in the comments. If you tried it and you hated it, also let us know down in the comments. Or if you tried it and you're like, mm, it was okay, kind of like how I feel. I feel like it was all right. Like I would continue to wear it with makeup, but I don't love it to wear on its own. Um, let's chat about all your thoughts down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to leave your sunscreen recommendations as always. And that'll be it for today's video. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye.